going on everyone? It's Brandon with Chicago Fine Jewelry, Shore Personal Jeweler. In this video, we're comparing the Hollow Miami to the Solid Miami Cuban Link. Can you get the same look, feel, and save thousands of dollars with going with a hollow version compared to that solid? We're gonna find out, go over all the pros and cons. With that being said, let's get started. Let's talk visuals because that is a very important thing for a lot of people. Obviously, generally with hollow chains, link chains, these Miami Cuban links, they kind of look bubbly because you can't get the proper diamond cut or filing on these links to give it that classic Miami Cuban link. Side by side on the left, we have the six millimeter hollow Cuban link. On the right is a six millimeter Miami Cuban links that I sell. Both are made in Italy, both are machine made, but as you notice on the right has that classic traditional Miami Cuban link because it is solid and you can diamond cut or if you're hand making them you can file them giving that nice look but with hollow ones and again it's all about quality just like the same with a solid Miami Cuban link there's going to be ones that have more gaps less gaps better filing better diamond cuts uh, with the the ones that I have in this sample it's from a very good manufacturer they actually made it air solid which allowed a, a hardiness to the alloy to apply a diamond cut so it doesn't look terrible it's not as bubbly as the lower quality ones that I've seen but if you've know hollow chains and you've seen a lot of them you kind of get that bubbly look which I don't like I like the more defined diamond cut solid look compared to that bubbly hollow look the biggest difference between the hollow Cuban and the solid Cuban is the gram weight, AKA the price. And a lot of people care about that bottom line. Or if you're uneducated, you just see the bottom line and think that's the better chain because it's less in price, same width, which is incorrect. You gotta know the gram weight. Now it's hard to compare apples to apples in this clip. The um, hollow Miami Cuban link is 10 karat. The links are a little more spaced out. It's not the same chain, but I just wanna show you guys a visual for reference. On the scale, you guys see the, the hollow one is more than half the weight of a solid uh, six millimeter Miami Cuban link. And generally, when you're shopping around, no matter if it's Miami Cuban link, rope chain, you're gonna see a significant gram weight difference. And that's how you're gonna know the telltale sign if the chain is hollow or solid. So if it's way off, then most likely it is hollow, as you guys can see, that gram weight. Um, and a lot of people just care about that, which equals the price. Generally, and I wanna make a more, um, just informative about hollow. Hollow chains are marked up more price per gram than a solid version. I'll get into that as to why in another video, but so as far as the price goes, you're gonna see a huge cut because the gram weight is not there as you see on the scale. Let's talk about how these look and how you feel while wearing a hollow versus solid. On my neck, I have the hollow version at 22 inches and honestly, it does not look bad at all. I cannot complain on the look. This is a nice hollow version Miami Cuban link, um, but you know, coming from a guy that works with solid chains for now a good part of his life, it does not feel right. It feels like a feather. When I put this chain in my hand, every time I'm tripped out by it because it's just, it's wrong. A chain of that presence can feel that light. And then I have the six millimeter Miami Cuban link 22 inch on more defined look. And really that's the difference between the hollow Cuban and the solid is that defined look. You feel the presence, you feel the weight around your neck. It does not move around. That's my complaint with hollow chains. They move around. I do the little flick test and that hollow version just flies across my chest compared to the solid version and again that is that gold weight. Last but not least let's talk about durability hollow versus solid and there's no point in buying a gold chain if you can't wear the gold chain. With the hollow version I know that's the big knock they break and they do. This Miami Cuban link really if I was just wearing it from day to day time to time I would not worry about it. It's not randomly gonna just break and fall off. I wouldn't necessarily sleep in it. I wouldn't put a pen with it but if you're just putting it on to go out there's it's not gonna break there's just no way it is light um, it's thin metal but it's not gonna break I don't fear that as much um, it would that be the same for a hollow Franco or rope I don't know we can get that into future videos but just wearing this solitaire I don't really worry about it too much um, and again if a link does break it's easier to repair a link chain compared to a rope chain so again if you really don't want to worry about it go with a solid Cuban link because there's absolutely no chance those links are breaking. So again, overall, am I gonna just trash the hollow Cuban link and say it's gonna break if you breathe wrong? 
No, I'm not because I truly don't feel that. But if you're truly worried about it, go with the solid version because there's no way that's gonna happen compared to the hollow version. Overall, there's a few big difference between the hollow and solid. Number one, the gram weight, the price, and the look to me, it just doesn't look like a well-made Cuban link. But for that gram weight and price, if you're okay with just an okay look, then it might be right for you. Durability-wise, I would be careful. You can wear it, but there's some limitations where a solid version has no limitations. So, and again, there's different qualities. There's different manufacturers. Some really specialize it and push it. So you have to kind of shop around, see what you're comfortable with. Generally, the heavier the chain is, uh, more durable, more gold it is. So that is a better bet. Sometimes it's worth it to go with a few more grams just to be on the safe side and get an overall better look. So you got some shopping around to do if you're looking for a hollow chain. Same to be said, there's different qualities with solid and different finishes and all that good stuff. So it is up to you. I just want to do some side-by-sides breakdowns of my take on the hollow Cuban versus solid Cuban. Let me know down below what hollow versus solid chain you want me to review next. That's it for today's video and we'll see you on our next jewelry video.